Hi everyone, um, today I'll be unboxing two boxes um, basically it will be uh, from Geek Gear now every now and again they tend to do a uh, like a discount of previous boxes um, and yeah I just uh, picked up a couple of those while they were still available I know they sell out pretty fast um, well yeah, let's uh, start with the first one so it's got your standard Geek Gear logo on there. And there's the tear off strip. Now I've never, I haven't really um, had anything by Geek Gear before, but I know that they are quite popular and they do have um, decent items inside. So let's do the first box. Now, I don't know what's inside this at all, so let's see what we get. So that's what it's like inside. You can see a nice. Uh, dark green uh, tissue paper there and uh, the first item inside um, looks like a pair of socks you can see that there um, it looks like it's Harry Potter um, looks like the, the lightning bolt and the glasses you can see that and the light in the way so it's like the lightning bolt and some uh, glasses of Harry Potter's there um, another one as well. This also looks to be a, I'm assuming Harry Potter as well with the lightning bolt. So that's just lightning bolts all over the socks. And the next one we've got um, Pac-Man magnets. Assume there's a load of fridge magnets there. And then we've got the uh, Looks inside there, there's a uh, create your own superhero story, and that looks to be a blank. It looks like you can put your own comic in there. So, if you all the panels of a comic, all variant sizes of panels there for a comic, not too bad. Be quite creative, then you can you know, design your own there. Uh, next one, it's a long tube, so I'm assuming it's going to be a poster of some sort in that. Let's just check, looks like a couple of posters actually. And um, take the first one out. Oh, that looks like Legend of Zelda, it's quite shiny. Get that more up to the camera there. It says Geek Gear exclusive on the reverse. So, yeah. I don't know if that's an official design, I'm assuming not. I might have got some independent artists to do that. Because it's got nothing about Nintendo on there, but yeah, it's Link Ride and uh, Epona. The landscape from Breath of the Wild, I'm assuming. So yeah. That's a nice poster that. Um, let's get the next one out. Looks like there's more as well after this one. Um, that's Harry Potter, that one. That looks like an original design for Harry Potter. That's quite a decent poster, that. The door's not like that, so I'll probably get a frame for that at some point. And the next one. Let's see if there's any more. Right, so there's two more posters inside. There's yet. Another Harry Potter one. That's got Dumbledore on it. Like one of the newspapers that you see in the films. Fortunately it's not animated like the ones in the films, but you know, it would cost a fortune if you if you'd had a real life version of those. Um and the next one, yeah, yet another Harry Potter one. Harry Potter and the spells that you ought to know. And that's got the various spell names and Definitions and that sort of thing, and that all these posters it says Geek Gear exclusive, so they must use either in house artists or you know, commission someone to do those. But yeah, quite quite nice. That there's four posters in there, that was only expecting uh, one really, so that's that's quite a bonus. That and the next item we've got is a Griffin Door Sword Letter Opener. You can see that there, it's quite reflective. 
and that says Geek Gear presents an awesome exclusive. Add a bit of magic to your home or office with this Sword of Gryffindor letter opener. This high quality letter opener is a detailed re replica of the goblin made sword of Hogwarts founder Godric Gryffindor. Please use with care. This is not a toy 14 years plus. Use at your own risk, and that's a Geek Gear exclusive. Just open this up to show you the size and dimensions, you know, that sort of thing. With the, it's got like a faux velvet backing on the inner car, uh, package. Um, feels quite solid. It seems to be. It's got Godric Gryffindor on there. And the, uh, the next item we've got, it appears to be a tin. They just a uh, Geek Gear logo on. Let's see what's inside this. I must say I was expecting just um, random previous boxes that Geek Gear had done, but it looks to me that they uh, they actually stuff a normal box full of a loads of old items in there, uh, more than what you would usually get in a, in a Geek Gear box. Because this looks to be two to three times what you would normally get in one of these subscription boxes. So. Fantastic value for money. Um, you're talking, it's usually about £20, I think. I'm assuming it's the average price, and these boxes, when they come up for um, sale, um, they must put all the, the items that they haven't managed to sell or you have know, surplus stock uh, and put two to three times the amount in one box. So it's fantastic value. I think we're buying a lot more of these when they come av become available. Um, this, so this tin, um, it's some. Green and white, is it white or grey? Green and grey lines in there. Um, just see, I'll put it the other way. Ah, it looks like coasters. Um, so, yeah, all different uh, colours of coasters. They're different striped ones. I'm not sure, I'm, I don't know what um, these are from or franchise they're from. There's no other markings. Let's drop that. Uh, there's no other markings on them. So I'm just assuming that they're a bit like an own brand filler item. Don't know. Not too sure. Ah, could be the colours of Harry Potter's houses, various houses. So yeah, that's what it might be. As I know they do a lot of Harry Potter stuff in the boxes. So yeah, that's what what it's most likely going to be seen as the, you know, the, uh, the that there's a lot of other Harry Potter items in the boxes. Um, in this one I've opened. Uh, yeah, there's another Harry Potter one there. That's a uh, Hogwarts uh, crest bookmark, and that's basically a solid uh, metal bookmark, just hangs over the top of a book, uh, so you wouldn't lose your place at all with that. Very good quality, highly detailed on both sides, and yeah, it's just got Hogwarts printed on the bottom of that. So that's a decent uh, thing to have there. Right, another one, Ministry of Magic Agent. So I'm assuming, yeah, another Harry Potter thing there. Let's get this opened. It's, uh, looks like a pin of some sort. Yeah, well, uh, Ministry of Magic pin. Quite a very big and weighty item, that. I'm not sure that would be very practical to put in it on any like coat or anything, but, you know, if, you, if you're cosplaying, that would be... Really good to, to to have that. That's quite uh, very highly detailed, um, like brushed metal as well. Um, very well made. It's a good good item that you're into Harry Potter. Um, so I'm sure most of this box is going to go to me kids and even my partner. She's read all the books, so she'll love some of the stuff in this. And we've got a uh, a Slytherin beanie. There's the crest on there. Of Slytherin, which my partner loves. Um, so yeah, she'll she'll appreciate that. There it is there with the house colours. That's quite good. And um, the next thing, we've got a Harry Potter sticker pack. There's an owl there. We've got Harry Potter underneath. Not too sure who that is. Um, let's open it up. One of my daughters will claim these. Let's get the packet opened. There we go. It's well packaged. 
Um, so I've got an owl. See, that's oh, quite reflective. And there's there's Harry. There he is there with his little lightning bolt. Um, I don't know who this is. Not, I, I wouldn't think it was Hermione, so I don't think it's her. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. I'm not too sure who that is either. But yeah, um, quite decent those little stickers. And um, we've got, yes, another um, Harry Potter item. And that's, uh, it's a patch that says Muggleborn. So it's just, uh, you probably see it better that way because it's um, <laughs> reversed for the video. And um, yeah, it's another item. Um, this looks like a, is it a window sticker. Ministry of Magic this way. Um, it's either an iron on transfer for clothes or I, I wouldn't assume though that an iron on transfer would say Ministry of Magic this way. So that's a, that was a bit of a daft idea, but um, yeah, it looks like it's a clear sticker, so you'd probably put that on a window or sort of window on a door or something like that. And bloody hell, I mean, you get a lot of items in these boxes, my god. Um, even more, it looks like prints, um, various prints things. There's another Harry Potter one. That's another Harry Potter. These are high quality ones that are worth framing. These, so not to say that the the other larger ones in the box that are rolled in the tube aren't high quality because they are, but these look more suitable for framing because they're even thicker um, card and uh, just as laminated as well. So yeah, that's a uh, an original design by Iana. So that's, uh, that'll probably either be an in-house artist or, as I said before, they've commissioned an artist to do that. And we've got another one, so there's a departure from I, um, Harry Potter and that's for Iron Man. Looks like some pop art there. That's an Iron Man one, that. And then we've got the next one, we've got another Zelda one, which is a lovely print there. That's uh, Zelda on a, a Poner again. As I said, it's more more of a frameable print there, well, that's another exclusive one and um, we've got what appears to be Tetris that's a heart using the various shapes of Tetris there that's quite good, so you get an absolute um, the box is rammed, absolutely rammed, let's see tissue paper, rammed with items um, three to four times more than what you'd usually get in a sub box of so these come up every now and again, I don't know how often um, I'm assuming every six months, something like that, when they're you know getting rid of old stock. Fantastic amount of items in these boxes. So if you're not a re regular subscriber, you're gonna be you know really uh, thankful of all the stuff in there because uh, you know if, if you are a regular subscriber, then you're gonna have some duplicate items that you've had in previous boxes. But as I'm not, and I haven't sub before to these, um, every single item is you know. I'll, I haven't had before. Um, so we'll open the next one without much further ado. Let's see if this is just as packed. Um, so that's what it looks like inside. We've got red tissue paper this time. And let's see what's underneath there. Um, so it looks like we've got a few duplicates here. We've got the Harry Potter um, Lightning Bolt socks. That's another duplicate. We've got another dupe as well with the Pac-Man fridge magnets, and then we've got um, another tube. It appears to be more than one rolled poster in, so let's see if these are all the same as before. I won't take too much time. No, there's some different ones in here. Um, this one we've got blink again. So we never got this one. That's another one that just link with his bow. So that's one we haven't got. The next one is, yep, yep, this is the one we had before. Link on opponent. So that's another duplicate. And let's see what's in the tube left in here. Let's get it out. Quite tightly packed. No more in there. It's just the tube. Um, another duplicate and another duplicate. So we've got two more Harry Potter ones. The duplicate of the newspaper cover and the duplicates of the various type of spells that I've just opened. 
So, not too bad. Um, handy if you've got kids who uh, like Harry Potter or Zelda or like that, and you've got a duplicate one and they're both fighting over it, so you know you've got these two copies there. So I'll just let them take the pick of what they want and they can have those on the walls. Uh, so my daughters will like some of those prints. Um, next thing we've got, it looks like a little jar of jelly beans. Now I'm assuming this is yet another Harry Potter item because it looks like the WW like World of Wizardry or something like that. I think one of their sub boxes is themed on Harry Potter the regular. And I've seen that there's a lot of high quality items as is evidenced by the the ones in the previous box and some in this one as well. But yeah, that's uh, looks like a little potion jar or something of jelly beans from Harry Potter themed around that. Next thing we've got, now this is a departure from Zelda and Harry Potter, and this is uh, Action Comics number 419, so that's DC, and we've got some, like a lenticular thing of Superman there on the front, who moves slightly when you move the lenticular uh, cover on there, and it's got a backing on saying, uh, just a lenticular notebook, so there's... Absolutely nothing else apart from that and a lot of lined paper with the Superman logo on there. So that's uh, not a bad item that. Um, partner loves Superman, it's one of her favourite superheroes so she'll probably be getting that. She always uses notebooks anyway. Um, that's a good item there. Um, we've got another one of the Ministry of Magic Agent pins. Let's just see if there's any differences. I doubt it, but we'll just check anyway, as soon as it's not visible. And yeah, it's exactly the same as the other pin, but still very high quality, and I'm sure somebody will want uh, the other one as well. Uh, next thing we've got is some Geek Gear exclusive shoelaces, and that's Space Invaders there. Uh, I've got my youngest, uh, well, my, my daughter's kittens on the bed there, so I'm just watching her because I've got shoelaces here and she'll probably uh, try and attack them. She's looking interested. She'll probably try and attack these as I get them out. There's all the little, uh, <laughs> she's looking interested. Uh, there's all the little uh, aliens from Space Invaders. I'm just wondering if she'll come over. Yeah, she's, she's looking very interested. <laughs> i better put them on the side or she'll be attacking them and they won't be worth anything. Uh, more of the Harry Potter stickers there. And yet another Muggleborn patch from Harry Potter. And yet another Ministry of Magic uh, sticker for Windows, I'm assuming. And yet more of these um, smaller prints, quite thick cards and laminated, so there's only two in this box. I think there's all four or five in the previous one. And we've got Harry Potter and we've got Z uh, we've got Link on Epona there. So that's the same prints that were in the other box, but they are very high quality prints, so yeah, some more want those. And last but not least, the red tissue paper. <laughs> so um, this box, um, not as impressive as the first one, a lot of duplicates as the first one, but as I said, um, quite cheap these and you're getting three to four times the amount of items that you would get usually in a, a gig gear sub box so they're very very highly recommended boxes to have uh, and I would give purely for the amount of items five out of five for that um, it's just if you're buying more than one be well aware that whoever packs them is not gonna take into account the number of duplicate items so you could end up with if you're buying three four five boxes you could end up with three four or five times the duplicates of the items that are in there so yeah very highly recommended very good box the items are all high quality a lot of exclusive items for geek gear as well and i love that they're using um you know uh, individual artists to make the prints um, so that's really good as well and it's not just you know your bog standard nintendo or harry potter designs that are 
you know, authorised. These are from, you know, variants by artists with their own creativity and imagination and they're putting their own spin on them. So, and they're very high quality. Really good idea for that. Um, and I know it's, uh, I think it's a UK based company, Geek Gear based in Scotland, I think. So, even better. Thumbs up for that. And uh, I'll probably end up subbing to, to Geek Gear, to be honest, after the quality of the items in there. Uh, so, that's a uh, really good really good boxes to have so um, thanks a lot for watching the video uh, if you like it please like and please comment as well and subscribe if you wish as well and i'll see you on the next uh, video thanks a lot goodbye